Welcome to Noah Yachting's video check-in for yacht Jean Mirage. Jean Mirage is a 2010 Jeannot Sun Odyssey 409. Let's get you on board and show you how she works. To start your engines, press here to turn on the power and then push and hold to start your engine. Once the engine is running, check that you have water flowing out of the outtake and that the cooling is working properly. To excite the engines in neutral, push this red button in and then push forward on the gear lever. To turn off your engines, bring your revs back down to neutral, hold down stop, and then turn off the power to the panel. Stop. Your autopilot is here at the starboard helm station. To operate the autopilot, press auto, and the yacht will hold your heading. To increase your bearing to starboard, press plus one or plus 10, and the boat will turn to starboard. To decrease your bearing or turn to port, press minus 10 or minus one, and the yacht will turn to port. To helm manually, press standby. Your GPS unit is located here in the center of the cockpit. You can zoom, pan with the cursor and select detail on the chart. You also have a variety of pages of data that you can choose from. The position of your vessel is shown here. You can pan and zoom and the fast way to get to your vessel is to press find ship. Your life raft is located underneath this platform on the stern of the boat. Pick up this, pop these clips out, and you can remove the cover to access the life raft. Your cooking gas bottle is located on the aft starboard transom under this locker here. Your spare bottle will also be in here. To turn on your bottle when it's connected to, anti-clockwise to open and clockwise to close on the valve. To change the bottle, unscrew the bottle off this fitting and then put the new bottle back on. Your shore power cables are plugged in to the yacht under this panel here. You have two shore power cables, one for the air conditioning and one for the 220 volt shore power for the yacht. The shore power breaker is located under the aft port lazarette. Here you have the shore power breaker for the 220 volts and the air conditioner breaker for the 220 volt air conditioner. In this position here, this is on. If you have a problem with the shore power or the air conditioning, come back here, check that these are in this position. If they are not, return them to the on position and try again. To operate your manual bilge pump, the handle is located under this locker on the aft port. Take out the handle, place into the manual bilge pump and pump vertically to remove water from the bilge. Your extra equipment is located in both the port and starboard lazarettes. In here you have your bucket for bailing and emergencies, your emergency tiller and your spare dock lines and sheets. In the starboard side lazarette, you have your spare fuel for your dinghy or outboard, hose for refilling your water tanks, oars for the dinghy, pump for the dinghy and your toolbox and kit. You also have in here your spare anchor and a deck brush and scrubbing brush and a baler. The cockpit shower is located here in the transom on the aft starboard side. To use the cockpit shower, pull out, extend the hose. To turn on the flow of water, move this switch laterally and to adjust the mix Rotate anti-clockwise for cold or clockwise for hot. Make sure you turn this off by pushing down on the control and check that it's not running before you stow it away. This way you will not waste any water. When anchoring, make sure your engine is running and excited to 1500 to 2000 revs in neutral. Open your anchor locker and secure this back. Remove the remote from the cradle inside the anchor locker. The remote has two buttons, up and down. These are wired in reverse, so press up to lower your anchor. 
lower a little bit of chain first so that you can then help the anchor over the bowsprit. Once the anchor is free, hold the up button to lower into the water. Always lower this first part slowly as to make sure that the anchor does not swing and hit the hull. The anchor is marked with red paint at 10 meters and then at further 10 meter increments. You have 60 meters of chain on board the boat. If the anchor windlass starts to strain, stop and wait for the boat to get closer to the anchor. Always bring up the last part slowly as to make sure you do not damage the hull. Once you've finished anchoring, return the control to the cradle and close the hatch. Jim Mirage has two water tanks on board. You fill the aft water tank from this water fill point here with water labelled on it. And you fill the forward water tank from the midship's port side valve also labelled water. Be sure to check that these are water before you fill them and not the diesel tank on the other side. You unlock these valves with your winch handle and then tighten them again with the winch handle. Your diesel fill point is located here over by your shore power cables. Again, unlock this with the winch handle and ensure that you check that it says diesel before putting your diesel fuel in here. Fill up your tanks here before returning from your charter. Your technician will check all of your sails to make sure they're in good working order before your charter. If you'd like to check these yourself, please raise these or roll them out with at least two people and check for any defects. If there is anything you'd like to report, please take photos with your mobile phone and report this to the office staff or your technician. Your main control panel is located on the port side of the saloon downstairs in the boat. Here on this side you have your 230 volt AC controls. Here is your control for your water heater, battery chargers and the AC plugs on board the boat. You can read your battery voltage here. If this light is showing it means the AC power is connected. If this light reverse polarity is showing it means there is a problem with the power on the dock. The boat should handle this fine. If you have a problem with it, talk to the dock staff about the power on shore. From here, this is your 12 volt DC system. This switch here is for your electric cabin lights within the boat. Here is for your fridge, the auxiliary output here. This switch here is for your water pump. In this position, the water pump is on. You will only see the green light when the pump is operating. This switch is to control your bilge pump. In this position here, it is on automatic and will automatically turn on when the water rises in the build pump and the float switch is activated. Here it is off and in this position it is on manually and will not shut off. Make sure you set this to auto when you leave the boat. Your electric navigation, GPS and autopilot instruments outside in the cockpit are controlled by this switch here. Here is your deck floodlight and your anchor light and your sailing and motoring lights. On this side here, all lights are on for steaming or motoring. In the middle, all lights are off. And on this side, just navigation lights for sailing. Here you can check the voltage and levels of your water tanks. 13.5 volts for your battery. Press again for your engine battery. Top button for your water tanks. Fuel tank on the starboard side. And this is for turning your alarms on and off. Turn on the power by turning this knob here. This is also your volume switch. The international distress and calling channel is channel 16. Change your channel with this dial here. Artsy marinas and most port authorities within Croatia will operate on channel 17. Adjust the sensitivity of your radio here. Also over here you have your chart table. Here you have your charts for the area. Inside the chart table you have your light lists, Adriatic Sea Pilots and navigational books for the area. Plotting equipment and stationery, a flashlight, keys for the yacht, a hand bearing compass, your Wi-Fi and plotting instruments. 
Inside the cupboard here you also have your inverter. This can plug into the cigarette lighter port on your control panel. On board you also have electric cabin fans in each of the cabins and two in the saloon here. To turn these on, rotate the center switch. First speed is slower and the second speed is higher. These are multi-directional so you can adjust to turn off, rotate anti-clockwise. When you arrive at your charter, your life jackets will be out here in the saloon for your inspection. Check that the right numbers and everything is here before you stow them away. Your safety equipment is located under this seat and this seat. You also have a fire extinguisher underneath the chart table here. Here you have your day shapes for anchoring and day sailing, first aid kit, flare kit, survival blanket, tool kit, spears for the engine, your wooden bungs in case of a through hole fitting malfunction, hatchet or axe for emergencies and also hacksaw for cutting stays, your bosun's chair, fog horn, fire blanket and your storm anchor. You also have the manuals for the yacht which are kept in this locker here and in this locker you have your harnesses and tethers for all on board. You have two fire extinguishers on board Gem Mirage, one in the aft starboard cabin and one underneath the chart table. On board Gem Mirage you have air conditioning throughout the yacht, in the aft cabins and the saloon in the forward cabin. This air conditioning is run by 240 volts shore power, so you can only run it when you are connected to the shore power. To operate these, use the panels in each area, turn on with the power button and adjust your temperature and fan speed. The secondary breakers for the air conditioning are located underneath the control panel behind the seat cushion. Here you have the switches for the salon air conditioning, the aft cabins and the forward cabins. Your main battery switches are located here in the aft starboard cabin. Here you have the main battery switch for your engine, in this position it is on, in this position it is off. Here is the main negative for both systems and the switch for the domestic or house battery. In this position it is on, in this position it is off. Here you have the breaker for your anchor windlass. If you have a problem with the anchor, come down and check this breaker. It may have flicked into this position which is off. Reset this thermal fuse and try your anchor windlass there. If you have any problems with the power systems or anchor air conditioning on board Gem Mirage, call NOAA services immediately. The diesel fuel shutoff valve is located underneath the aft port bunk. In this position here it is open. Turn this 90 degrees to close in an emergency. Your LPG gas cutoff control is here in the galley. This is an electric gas control. In this position here, push down and set the switch to on. Gas will flow when it's turned on at the bottle. When you have finished cooking, turn this off by pushing down here. Then turn off the gas in the bottle. Gem Raj has one fridge freezer here in the top of the bench. Open this here. In here it has a cool ice box at the top and a temperature dial to adjust. To change over between your two water tanks on Gym Mirage, behind the saloon cushions on the starboard side of the boat, you have these valves here. In this position here, this tank is open, in line with the line. In this position here, this tank is closed. We need to change over, close off the first tank by rotating clockwise, and then open your second tank by rotating anti-clockwise. Jean Mirage has two bathrooms, each with a head with holding tank for black water. In the aft port bathroom, the holding tank valve is located underneath the seat for the shower, here. In this position, it is across the line and closed. Turn 90 degrees to open. Remember, only open your waste tanks when you are offshore and away from other boats. Also in this bathroom you have the shower and the shower drain is operated by this black switch here. Press this switch to drain water out of the well of the shower. This is on a timer so you press it once and it will automatically turn off. In the forward master cabin bathroom you have also a waste tank valve located underneath the vanity sink in down through this compartment. Again in this position it is off Turn 90 degrees to open this valve. To operate the manual pump toilet, you have two positions in which this can be in. 
Over this way, with this symbol, it will pump water only out. When it is switched this way, it will pump water in and out at the same time. When it is to this setting, the bowl will naturally fill to a certain level. When you are finished going to the toilet, remove the waste by putting the switch in this position, then switch it to flush, and pump 15 to 20 times to remove all the waste from the bowl and pump it up and down into the holding tank. When you are finished, swip this over to the other side and remove the excess water. Push the handle down and turn to lock into position. Remember, nothing that doesn't come out of your body goes down the toilet. Put the toilet paper and other sanitary products in the bins provided inside the locker. Thank you for watching this video check-in for Yacht Jean Mirage, the 2010 Gino Sun Odyssey 409. I hope you have an amazing week. See you when you get back.